Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how easy and fast it is to install the real watch version 4, master complication 1 and essentially all of my watches since the uh, mechanism of function is really, literally the same. So what we need is a basic avatar like this one that I prepared here and we obviously need the VIPR chair SDK, um, the watch package, then we need few shaders. For testing purposes I'm using the Yuma emulator and for uh, merging purposes that I'm going to explain later I use uh, scripts VRC SDK Plus and VR Labs Avatar 3.0 Manager. So what we do first uh, essentially is that we zoom in a bit and we put in a prefab of the watch we are using which is in the prefabs folder this one we're gonna drag it onto the avatar and it needs to stay in the top level of the hierarchy because it's based off animations so if you really need to change the position in, in the hierarchy you need to change the animations yourself but we can um, basically connect an anchor to watch to a uh, object on the elbow which we're gonna do on the left hand here we're gonna I already have an object here anyway positioned as well so we're gonna use it but the way you do this with is you literally just uh, create an empty object so we go back to the real watch and we have this parent constraint uh, component here so we add a source and we add the uh, object on the hand here we zero and activate and now we go a little bit here and we basically position and scale the watch so scaling the watch we literally scale the actual object of the watch but if we really want to move the watch we need to use the anchored um, object and just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm not gonna fine-tune it I'll just leave it as is because I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys uh, are gonna perfect the position and the scale whatever you want so now that we have to watch in the scene we need to add functionality so what we're gonna do we're gonna be adding an FX layer the parameters and menu but this avatar already has all of these so what I have to do I need to merge the watch parts with the actual avatar parts so first we're gonna do a DFX layer so to do that I open the VR Labs manager and I put in my avatar and I click FX and I add an animated merge and the watches animator you're gonna find in the FX layers folder in the watch package so I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna merge on current there we go it's done now we're gonna merge parameters for that we cannot use the avatar 3.0 manager for that we're gonna use Red scripts uh, VR plus so we just when we have installed the uh, VR CSDK plus we literally just go into parameters and there's a slot for merging parameters so we literally just drag in the parameters that we find in the avatar parameters folder in the package and it's done it's finished so now we go into the menu, we add control, we add a submenu, and we add our avatar menu from the folder here. And this is essentially for you to be able to control the chronograph and the second uh, time zone hand. So now we're done, so it's time to test it. And we're gonna enable 3.0 emulator, so we're gonna play test. So I can uh, see the watch, I'm just gonna make her go crouching. I'm gonna zoom right next to it. And we can see already the second hand second hand is moving, so that's where that works. And now we're gonna find all the different values that we can change. For example, I'm gonna change the date to 5 or 15. I can also change the day of the week, which is now Monday, so that works pretty well. 
for testing moon phase, you have to put in days since a new moon. So I'm gonna just put in 10 and then click moon phase set. That works pretty well. Uh, we can also change the time, for example, 0 0.9325. That works pretty well. Second time zone works pretty well as well. Uh, now what we can, oh, we can test the actual chronograph. I'm gonna push it once, it's gonna start counting. Now we're gonna push it for the second time and it's gonna stop. And it's gonna stay that way until I push for the third time and it's gonna reset. That works pretty well. Adjusting second time zone, I cannot do this because in Unity, because that needs the app to be um, listening to Unity, which I don't have set it up, so you have to test this in game. But it works pretty well. If, if uh, everything else works, this is gonna work as well, so you don't have to worry about that yet. So, yeah, now we have a fully functional master complication one and i wish you to really enjoy it and if you have any questions let me know and i'll see you next time